that, you've got a very similar, almost identical looking species of fish, which are in the rocks. And these ones are the zebras. So your zebras are your southern shire fish. They are, they, they live in the prime real estate. Because of that, they are actually quite aggressive. So that's something to bear in mind. They're mainly going to be aggressive towards each other, but they are quite an aggressive species of fish found from the sediment tree rocky habitat. Now over in Lake Malawi, you've got the trophies that live in exactly the same Lake Tanganyika. You've got the same, they're living in the same environment um, from the different lakes. So just as they've got that environment, they've got this environment, but you've got your zebras over there. Zebras were previously known as pseudotrophius, which means like trophius. And then you've got the trophius, which are from Tanganyika. So once again, quite an aggressive fish. So they're living in the most sought after territory. Um, mainly aggressive towards each other. Um, they're going to feed by, by inverting and scraping algae off the rocks. Also, the trophies, the way they breed is quite interesting because they do what's called the T movement, which means that these, all these fish I've mentioned so far are mouth brooding fish. As I said, the goby is a biparental mouth brooder. Most of the others are not. So therefore, the normal maternal mouth brooder, which means the female will be attracted to the male, the male will fertilise the eggs in the female, and that will be pretty much the last he sees of them. Then once she has grown the, the eggs, she'll let them go wherever she thinks it's safe, and that's pretty much the last she'll see of them. So um, they just try and get as much out there as possible. Various fish organised but all let their babies go at the same time, so it creates like a little school. Other fish look for certain spots to actually release them. Other fish release their eggs, their babies, in with other fish that look after their babies. So you'll have one fish that looks after his young, and then another fish will dump their babies in there so they get mixed in and they're not really sure which ones they're looking after. All that sort of business goes on. Now, so the T movement is basically a, a more advanced evolution of breeding where the male will attract the female, the female will, um, will the, so the male will attract the female, then the female will release the eggs, the male will guard the eggs, then they switch around to the next tea like this, as they release each egg, and the male, the female will grab the egg in her mouth, and then while the um, female, when they're in this position, the, ma the female is sort of grabbing at that area, Trying to, get, trying to get their eggs fertilised in her mouth. Then they, they'll do this when they're actually breeding. Whereas in Malawi, you should sort of see them go around in a circle a bit more. So what the, they've got the egg spots down the bottom, and these egg spots are dummy egg spots. So when the female's collecting the eggs, he lays his fin out there, sometimes to show the female where to lay the eggs, and other times to try and trick the female into thinking it's an egg, so she grabs at it, so she spends more time in that area, so there's more likely that his eggs are going to get fertilised. And so, yeah, that's sort of how they go about that.